Hello Prep 2, welcome to the second term. Today we are going to take Unit 6, Living History. As we know, uh, most people like history. They like to go back and live in the past. Uh, or um, we can say to live history. This is uh, what our unit is about. So let's start with the vocab, okay? Okay, the first one is decade. What does it mean? It means a period of 10 years. So we call the period of 10 years, we call it what decade. The second one is battle. Battle could be a noun or a verb. It means a fight or struggle between organized armed forces to resist someone or uh, something. Okay, the third one is liberate. What does it mean? Uh, it's a verb. The noun is liberty. It means what? To set free. We could uh, set someone free from imprisonment, for example. Or we could uh, uh, set our city or country free um, from the enemies. We have a document. It's uh, a noun. It means uh, a piece of paper or um, a piece of written, printed, uh, or electronic matter that uh, provides evidence. The last one is very easy. It means what, um, uh, you know, the um, old times or the past. Now with the exercise, try to uh, replace the underliners to give the same meaning. Number one. It took more than 10 years for the government to pass the law on human rights. Um, pass the law means to make the law on human rights. Human rights like um, freedom or justice. So we can replace uh, 10 years with what? With the word decay. Number two, the old paper was torn and stained, but luckily you could still read it. So we can replace um, the word paper with what? With document. Number uh, three, after many months of fighting, the soldiers managed to flee the city. Um, it means that the soldiers uh, could free the city. Uh, we can replace uh, the verb uh, free with what? With liberate. Uh, number four, my dad says that many people died during the fight in the war. As we said before, we can replace uh, fight. He, um, it's a um, uh, noun with what? with battle. The last one. The city was well known in ancient times for its many temples and monuments. Monuments means uh, old buildings. So we can replace um, the underlying um, words ancient times with what? With the best. It will be the city was well known in the past for its many temples and monuments. Now we have some of the new vocab and uh, uh, confusing words. The first one is the pickle. What does it mean? It means a drawing or painting. Um, you can say a lifelike uh, image of something or someone. Like uh, a painting of the royal family, a painting of the world, for example. And uh, the second one, revolution. It means um, an overthrow of a government's order in favor of a new system, like the famous uh, the, the French uh, Revolution. We have also concepts. Uh, it's a noun. It means uh, an abstract idea or belief, uh, like, um, for example, the concept of having equal rights. We have blood. Blood could be a noun or a verb. A blood, um, um, it means a plan made in secret by a group of people to do uh, something illegal or harmful. Like, they, for example, they plotted against the king uh, to kill him or um, uh, to, blow up, uh, to blow up a building and so on. We have uh, other um, two confusing words, subjective and objective. Objective, um, it means what? When uh, we describe someone as objective, it means what? 
that uh, this uh, person is considering only facts, uh, not affected by his uh, feelings or opinions. Like we have, for example, hysterians. Um, they try to be what objective and neutral all the time. The opposite is subjective. Uh, when we describe someone as subjective, it means that this person is affected by his own feelings or um, opinions. Uh, it means based on, uh, on personal feelings. There is a difference between hysterical and historic. Hysterical means part of history or relating to events or people in the past, like historical novel. But historic, it's when I say historic building or day, it means that that building or day is important in history or great in history. There is a difference also between autobiography and biography. Autobiography, it's a noun. It means an account of a person's life written by that person like his life story or his personal history. It's written by the same person. While biography is an account of someone's life, but written by someone else, not the same person. We have also a difference between authentic and artificial. Authentic means real, original while artificial means uh, made or produced by human beings as a copy of something like um, uh, flowers or light and so on. Now with uh, another exercise, please the correct answer. Number one, the Russian. The Bitcoin or revolution left hundreds of people dead, injured, or homeless. The answer is revolution. Number two, the concept or blood to blow up the ballast field and the conspirator with hand. We have concept or blood blowing up uh, the ballast. This is an illegal uh, or harmful act. So the answer is what? The answer is blood. Number three, students of history must be objective or subjective when writing papers. It means that, that students of history must not be affected with their own um, uh, feelings or personal opinions. So the answer of number three, students of history must be objective. Number four, Sherlock Holmes not a hysterical or historian detective. He is a fictional character, means uh, he is not um, a real character. So the answer will be what? The answer uh, is what? Uh, hysterical. Number five. He wants to write A or N, autobiography or biography of the president. He wants to write about uh, another person's life, not his own life. So the answer is biography. The last one. Is this really an authentic or artificial statue of a liberty? The answer is, is this really an authentic? Uh, means is this uh, the original statue of li liberty? Now with another take on history. The word take here, it, uh, it means opinion. Uh, we have some new uh, vocab like first one historian historian is somebody who studies and writes about history number two archaeologist like uh, Zay Hawes um, somebody who studies the past by digging and analysis of uh, its material remains we have comedian it's uh, a noun it means uh, an entertainer whose act is designed to make an audience laugh. 
uh, knowledgeable it's um, an adjective it means uh, clever and well informed uh, educational it's um, an adjective it means relating to education like uh, the educational programs we have another word uh, creation from the verb create it means uh, the process of bringing something into existence to make something exist we have an accurate, it's the opposite of accurate. It means uh, not accurate or false. The last one, illustration. It means um, a picture illustrating a book, a uh, newspaper, like uh, stories of um, stories for the kids. They are full of um, illustrations and uh, drawings. Now this is the, the last uh, exercise, uh, try to complete the um, uh, space, okay, you have uh, the words history, great, comedy, knowledge, educate, create, accurate, and illustrate. One to eight, read the text below. Use the word in capitals at the end of some of the LIR word that fits in the gap in the same line. Another take on history. So, who says only, one, historians and archaeologists can write books about times. Gone by, unlike Anthony Beevor, one of England's, two, greatest experts on the past, John Stewart, the American author of Earth, the book is anything but an academic. Many would think that Stewart's background is a top, Three, comedian and brilliant talk show host would be of no use when writing a book about history. But he has managed to do it, and in such a way that almost everyone who reads it will be a bit more, four, knowledgeable about the subject. Six, creation of time gives his opinion on how the earth was formed. Using humor as an, five, educational tool, Stewart takes his readers back to the and then proceeds to take readers through the ages only to finally end up back in the present. At times sarcastic and ironic, and as some critics claim, at times seven, inaccurate. Stewart's work is both entertaining and informative, full of colorful, eight, maps and diagrams. The book is a must-read for anyone with a sense of humor and a thirst for knowledge. Illustrations Okay, that's it for today. Thanks a lot and good luck.